you so much for all the support you gave me, guys. Okay. Today, I got promoted. Those who spread goodness radiate happiness to everyone around them. Introducing LOLC Finance Credit Cards. Fuel the goodness in you. Welcome to Living Gets Real. I'm Ashwini Vedakan. Joining us on this week's show, we introduce you to Kay Senevi Ratna. But before we get into the show, here's a little sneak peek into her life. Good to have you here with us. Oh, thank you so much for having me, Ashwini. Okay, now if you had 60 seconds on the clock, how would you introduce yourself to our viewers? Wow, 60 seconds? I don't know if that's <laughs> going to be enough. Um, well, first and foremost, I am a mom, uh, a wife, and I am a chef. So I'm just going to tell you a little bit about myself. So I was born in Sri Lanka, but I was raised in Zambia. I went to boarding school in England. Uh, then went to university in Hawaii and then I moved to New York City to do my culinary degree. And after being in New York for about 17 years, moved back to Sri Lanka a few years ago. Nice. So, there so you nice have it. <laughs> so now how would, like, what about food and nutrition? Was that something you always wanted to do or is it something you just stumbled upon when you were a little younger? You know, I would say my first memory of actually making something was probably when I was about six years old. I had a next door neighbor that was older than me and she was always baking. So I do remember sitting in the kitchen with a bowl and some butter and sugar with a wooden spoon, beating, you know, trying to cream the butter yeah. to make these cupcakes. Um, so yes, I would say my passion for cooking did start at a very young age. And the nutrition part, of course, I think once I became a teenager, I, I realized that you can't just eat what you want. There has to be a balance. So that's where my, the nutrition part of it came in. So if I do eat something that's very calorific, I will make a note the next day to sort of reduce my calorie intake. And I do believe in calories in and calories out. Yeah. Now let's talk about the cooking tutorials. Like we mentioned off camera as well, it was the Kotumi ram, the ramen that actually caught <laughs> yeah. people's attention. Yes. I know it caught mine that way as well. <laughs> so how did that start? Um, that recipe? No, the whole. Oh, show. the whole, the whole cooking thing. So I mean, I've been cooking all along. So I've always had so many of my friends will call me to ask me for recipes, or they'll ask me how do you do this and how do you do that, and people will come over, yeah. and um, I will cook and I will show them. So after moving here, um, I I wanted to make myself a nice kitchen, and because of COVID, it took two years for me to complete the kitchen. So once it was done. Um, I've always sort of had this in my head about wanting to do something in Sri Lanka in terms of cooking using local ingredients because I primarily only cook with local ingredients. And then I kind of just woke up one morning and I told my husband, I'm like, can we sort of try this out? And that was it. He picked up an iPhone and uh, we sort of started from there. Nice. So that's how it, how it goes. So you actually, as you said, you pride yourself on your local ingredients. It's also in all your recipes and your grid. Yes, yes. Um, what would you say is your favorite local ingredient? So I would say my favorite is kisel pani. I feel like it is so underrated. Everyone thinks of kisel pani as just pouring it on their curd. No, it has so many other uses. I use it in salad dressings, in sauces, in marinades. Uh, and actually the other day I decided to make uh, a frozen curd with chunks of milk toffee and I'm gonna, I, I paired it with a salted kittle caramel so that definitely is one of my favourite ingredients to use. You heard a little rumble, that was my stomach. <laughs> but ignore it. Okay, so now um, who would you consider your favourite chef? Someone that you look up to when you're working? Here in Sri Lanka? Yes. I would actually have to say Gerard Mendes uh, okay. because uh, baking and pastry is my forte. That is really what I love doing. And I love what he has done here in Sri Lanka. He has 
created um, his little mini empire and uh, everything that he has in there is so delicious. It's so consistent and most of all, he's able to offer it at a great price. There's nothing in there that's overly expensive, so which means he has to get very creative mm. with the ingredients that he has to give us those products. And my favorite thing from his is the Milky Way cake. Have you ever had it? No, I haven't. <gasps> so you have to order that. So okay. call them and order a 500 gram Milky Way. It comes in two sizes and it, it is his best cake. Really? It's like a nice chocolate ganache mm. that you can like slice in. It's, it's really good. The nice. best. The best cake in Sri Lanka that I've tasted. So would you consider Gerard Mendes the local chef that you would like to one day collaborate with? Oh, absolutely, yes. yes. <laughs> you heard that. <laughs> okay, so now we're in June. Mm -hmm. So what do you see happening in the next few months? What is your next plan? Do you, do you actually plan on opening a kitchen one? Do you plan on doing a restaurant? Um, something we can all taste the food with in one day? Well, I think I'm going to go along as I'm going, kind of growing. I'll be doing a lot of collaborations. Um, a lot of people have asked me about a cookbook. That might be something um, that I will work on. In terms of a restaurant, I really haven't given it that much thought because it, it is a huge venture. and yeah. It is very difficult anywhere in the world to, to operate a restaurant that is successful. But after the success of my Kottami Ramen, I was actually thinking it might be nice to sort of do like a a little Kottami ramen franchise. Yeah. <laughs> like little little ramen cutties all over Sri Lanka where people can just, you know, stop off and get a nice bowl of uh, ramen and move along. So I don't know, maybe, maybe that. <laughs> nice. Um, now, you said you've lived quite, you've lived everywhere. You've been in New York, you've been in Hawaii, you've been yes. in Zambia. Yeah. And then you are also Sri Lankan. What would you consider your favorite local dish to eat? For me, hands down, since I was little, it has to be godam roti. I, I love a nice, a bit of a crispy godam roti with a good mutton curry and a raw onion sambal. I will eat that for breakfast, lunch and dinner. My nice. all-time favorite. <laughs> wow. Okay, well actually, we reached the end of our burning segment. Okay. Yeah, but we have a game, I'm sure you've noticed that we have a game for all our interviewees. All right. Yeah. Are you ready for the game? Yeah. Yes, I'm ready. Okay. We'll be back with Kay's game after a short word from our sponsors. You love the feeling of being renewed. To protect the things most precious to you. To stay beautiful every single day. To breathe just like we do. Because you are truly delicate. Protecting the ones who've been with us through the years. With Sailac Care, the only wood coating that truly protects you. Sailac Wood Coatings from Jat. Welcome back to the show as we continue our conversation with Kay Sanemi Ratna. Kay, are you ready for your game? Uh, yes, I am. <laughs> okay. So for you, we have a game prepared called Word Sneak. Okay. We have mugs with words. Okay. And you're going to start a conversation and slip these words in there. Okay. Okay? All right. To make it... To make it more interesting, Team Living has also got me involved in the game. Okay. They've made a set of words for me as well. Shall we start? Okay. okay. Sure. So I get to pick one. Yes. Okay, let's see. <laughs> um, so Ashwini, as a child, did you ever like reading detective novels? <laughs> no, I didn't. But I did I am really interested in like true crime, I'm interested in like, like you know, schemes and crime. So I did look up the Ponzi scheme at one point. Okay, my turn. Okay. You know, my all-time favorite um, rock album is Bon Jovi's Slippery When Wet. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I'm not really into 
I don't, I'm not a fan of music, but I do love animals. And there's one particular mammal that I'm really fond of. It's called the platypus. <laughs> I'm getting nervous now. Okay. Um, did you like doing uh, ex putting accessories into your hair, such as as bandanas or butterflies or hair bands? No, but one of my friends did when she went on a Tinder date. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite brunch cocktail is uh, mimosa. What about you? Mm, I'm not much for alcoholic beverages, but I do love <laughs> the good side of salami with some cheese. <laughs> yeah, for some reason, that's all I could think of. <laughs> Thank God you said brunch. <laughs> So I'm slowly getting to all sorts of social media platforms, but to be quite honest, I cannot for the life of me understand what Twitter is all about. Are you on Twitter? I'm not, um, but I do follow some of the trending conversations and in Sri Lanka, a very hot topic right now is about Botox. Okay. <laughs> we did it. I don't know how I... I it's a, she was really good. <laughs> she was able to create a conversation for me to keep going. Well, thank you so much oh, for joining us on the show Thank you today, so Kate. much for having me. I had so much fun. <laughs> and that's all the time we have for you this week. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Instagram to catch the latest episode of Living Gets Real. Thank you for watching and stay safe.